Hi. Now, in this example, we need to prove that the cosine, or cos for short, of s plus cos t divided by the sine of s minus sine of t is identical to the cotangent, or cot, of s minus t divided by 2. So, how do we prove this one? So, we start off with proof, and I would take the left-hand side because basically I know it's got one term here but it's made up of two terms on the top and two terms on the bottom and that looks far more complicated than what we see on the right. So doing that then we'll start with cos of s plus cos t all divided by sin s minus sin t. Right, okay. Now if we look at the top, you should recognize this identity. We've got the cosine of one angle plus the cosine of another angle. It's often called the factor formula. And I'll just explain by just doing a little bit of work up here. If we take the cosine of one angle, let's call it A, plus the cosine of another angle, let's call it B, then this is identical to 2 cosine of the sum of the two angles, in this case a plus b, but we divide by 2, a half of a plus b. And it's also multiplied by the cosine of now the difference between the angles, that would be a minus b, but divided by 2. It's called the factor formula because you have a couple of terms here, and what you create is one term made up of three factors, 2, is one factor, cos of a plus b upon 2 is the next factor, and the cosine of a minus b upon 2 is the other factor. So, when it comes to simplifying the top, we can write this then as 2 cos of, but it won't be a and b this time, it'll be s and t in the place of a and b. So, cosine of s plus t, all divided by 2, and the cosine of s minus t all divided by 2. Now when it comes to the denominator, it's much the same. We have the difference between two angles where we have sines now, sine of one angle minus sine of the other. And there's an identity for this from the factor formula. So the sine of A minus the sine of B, you should know this one, is identical to 2 and then we start with the cosine of the sum of the angles, that's a plus b in this case, but divided by 2, and then it's the same as the sine of a minus b divided by 2. And if I now replace the a and the b with the s and the t, then the denominator becomes 2 cosine of s plus t over 2, times the sine of s minus t over 2. So we've got one term on the top, one term on the bottom, and we've got common factors. So we can cancel them out. We've got 2, which is a common factor here and here. And we've also got the cosine of s plus t over 2. That's common. So we can cancel that out. So what are we left with? When we tidy this up, what we've got is the cosine of s minus t over 2, and that's all divided by the sine of s minus t over 2. Now we've got the same angle here and here, so whenever you get the cosine of an angle over the sine of the same angle, it is always cotangent or cot of that angle. So what we've got here is the cot then of s minus t over 2, which is what we had to prove. Okay.